views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Wow. Those of you out there, this is the moment that Dr. Glenna Rice and I start to look at ways to change your life. Now, for those of you that know who Glenna is, um, this is going to be redundant, but I cannot say enough about how she has shown up in the world and why the tools that we're going to talk about today are more than transformative. You know, as a physical therapist and owner of of access physical therapy, but beyond all of that, she travels the world and she helps people understand the idea of what is possible through access consciousness seminars, whether it's on parenting, whether it's on your body, whether it's on just about anything that's in your way. This is what the tools are about. She can look at energy. She can help you move and facilitate from whatever you're stuck in to that place where you can thrive. Today joining us is, yep, an old friend, Blossom Benedict. Now look, when these two get together and start to talk about magical tools, whether you know Blossom from uh, the work that she does with Access Consciousness or uh, Right Voice for You or ABCD or any of the above, what you can know about her is both of these women are coming today to invite all of us what to change our lives. Dr. Glenna Blossom, great to have you here. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Dr. Pat, for having us both on. Thank you. So fun to be here. So fun to be here. And I want to, I love magic. Mm. I love magic. But you know, let's talk about this right into the gate. And I want to start with you, Blossom, if I could. Um, When we talk about magic, we're usually looking at the big screen. We're looking at maybe Harry Potter. Who knows what we're looking at? But for some strange reason, we do not think that magic can apply to ourselves and our lives. And this is really the different conversation today, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, magic, I I think magic can be changing one point of view because then something totally different can show up as your future. Um, you know, there's, there's so many things or when you ask for something and, and you create it really quickly, you know, that's the kind of magic we often dismiss. Um, and then Glenna and I have, you know, a a secret, our, our secret weapon tool that we actually use regularly, regularly in my, in our lives. And I know I forget to talk about it sometimes. Um, so we also wanted to give you sort of a a practical magic today. Well, okay. So Glenna, how about you? I mean, clearly I know that in working with you, um, I've changed my perspective. You know, what I do is I don't wait to ask what else is possible. I mean, I don't wait. And, you know, I I was kind of joking a little bit, you know, before we came on. And I said, what's so right about this? That is a really new question for many of us. But for you, can you tell me a little bit about the magical tool, but more importantly, how you've used it in your life? That's what I want to know about. Yes. So the magical tool we are um, sharing with people today is a uh, access consciousness body process called the bars, which was when it's where access started years ago. Gary Douglas, um, 
developed this tool, channeled this tool, got the information about it and started teaching the class. And that's where access grew from was this amazing. Um, it's about an hour session you do on points on the head that it creates magical change in bodies and people in your lives and people are depressed or less depressed and anxious or less anxious. Pain goes away. Um, school kids are getting better grades on tests if they have their bars run before it. And, you know, like Blossom was saying, it's something we use all the time. I get my bars run as often as possible, never as much as I would like to, but as <laughs> when I can, I get it run. I have my kids do it on me. I do it on them. And it creates a peace with me and ease. If I'm stressed out, angry, upset, not having a good day, or just don't feel great. If I get my bars run, it's magic. It Mm. will change my change, how my body is and how I'm being in the world with more ease than creating in an hour Mm -hmm. or less. (laughs) Yeah. So let's just pause for a moment. Mm -hmm. And for people that are thinking, what do they get run? Uh, <laughs> you know, this is St. Patty's Day, but it's, you know, that uh, we, we've just passed. And, you know, people may be thinking, yeah, I'm not sure what they're talking about. <laughs> Tell people what you're talking about, because it's a powerful, powerful process. Yeah. I mean, you know, Blossom, Blossom does this wonderful full day, um, bars day that she's online or live across the world and talking about the bars and she's so beautiful at it. So I just love to have her talk about it. Bars. Sure. Beautiful. Yeah, we do. We do this 24 hour bars marathon once a year where hundreds of thousands of people around the world get together and run bars and we live broadcast and, and share tools and see what's going on. Um, it's a really fun day. Um, that I started doing really to celebrate how powerful this is, um, and, and to bring awareness to it. And so, so what it is, is there are 32 different points on your head. And when you gently touch them, the technical term we use is they release the electromagnetic component of thought, but it seems to just dissipate the, the charge that you have on different thoughts. Um, and create space in your brain for something else to show up. So, you know, people use analogies like it's like taking out the trash on your computer. It's defragging your hard drive. Um, and we'll get into this later, but there's, there's recently been a a fair bit of research going on, uh, where science is starting to say, yeah, it, it is doing something sort of substantial in the brain. So basically you lay down, um, and somebody touches these points in your head. It can, it can be an hour. Gosh, if I had the time, I'd get five hour bar sessions regularly. Um, I actually have somebody coming over today to run my bars. Cause I was like, Oh, I need my bars run. <laughs> um, and, and that's it. And there's hundred, there's probably a hundred thousand people around the world who know how to run bars. There's a couple thousand facilitators who teach classes. And um, once you learn them, it becomes something that people just swap with each other. You know, so I have a friend coming over and I'm like, I'll run her bars, she'll run my bars. And then my day is just different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, let's talk about this for a minute because I I mentioned this earlier and maybe we can, you know, chat about it. Uh, I mentioned energy and and I want to talk about it. Um, and, uh, you know, here's the thing that, um, I want you to talk about some days we wake up and some people wake up and they have already in their minds, a bad day, Mm -hmm. you know, they've already planned, um, uh, whether or not their day is going to be joyful, whether it's going to be sad, they have already futured out into the end of the day for whatever reason. Um, I wanted to ask you, the work that you both do is not just to help people that may have super traumatic experiences in life, because you also help with that, but also day-to-day stuff. Because when you say, yeah, I'm going to get my bars run, what you're saying is, man, I need a little tune-up maybe. I don't know my language though. That's great. That's perfect. It's it's a tune-up. Once you've had them done, your body starts asking for this tune-up. Um, for me, it's just finding, you know, this space in my day, um, or my week or my month to have it done. I would have it probably done every day if, um, if I could, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or five hours, like Bloss said, I've had a three hour, four hour bar session. that was just phenomenal. You know, and the more, the busier I am in my life with the things I'm creating, the more, um, 
um, I want to say the more it changes, but the more it's, I desire it for my life to create that ease. And yeah, you wake up with a sad day and you know, those sad days often don't even belong to you. And we talk about mm-hmm. who does it belong to and access often, but to, to have access to knowing the awareness that it's not yours becomes so much easier. Once you've had this tool, once you've had this done, there's more, um, perceiving the difference of you on the planet and everyone else, you have, um, a more of an ease of connecting with you once you've had this run. Cause you like Blas was saying, you're, it's like you're defragging your computer hard drive of yeah. your brain yeah. and there's not all this other junk in the way. Yeah. So you can have, you can be you. Yeah. And there's a reason that we want to do this. And we're going to get into this today. Um, the, why would we want to do this? And what does uh, having your bars run mean? How does this work? We're going to get some up close and personal uh, experience from both Dr. Glenna and Blossom about this. And more importantly, you know, what is it that, you know, it helps us come to that place of what? What is the end game? Is it a state of relaxation? And for many of us, What happens during that time? You're going to take a short break when we come back. Great show. One magical tool to change your day. Dr. Glenna Rice and our special guest today, Blossom Benedict, will be right back. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. Be you plus live your purpose equals joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that are meant to make the world brighter. Each show will feature an art visioning journal prompt to help you create your way to soul clarity. If you're ready to get unstuck and create more joy, this show is for you. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit VickiWorldArt.com. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in to the hit show, Mouthing Off with Chef Rossi. Chef Rossi mouths off about different subjects in pursuit of breaking down walls and opening up your minds. She and Dr. Pat banter back and forth, taking from the headlines of the day on subjects that reach beyond what goes on in the world into your hearts. And go to theragingskillet.com to find out more and let Chef Rossi know what's on your mind. Are you looking for the perfect setting for your next workshop or retreat? At Spirit Fire Meditative Retreat Center, cultivating consciousness is what we do best. Our guests count on us to create an atmosphere that supports serenity and well-being. We lead from the heart and create space for the mind. Freshly prepared meals designed with local and organic ingredients, 95 acres of beautiful woods and pastures, and a facility built with green in mind. This is what you'll find at Spirit Fire. For more information, visit spiritfireretreatcenter.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Yep. uh, You heard it right. We're talking about one magical tool 
to change your day, but not just one day. We're not just like talking one day, you know, we're talking about what if you could change every day? What if you no longer had to agonize over tomorrow, but could be so present, so conscious in the moment that you're in that life can become a breeze, not just with some of the tough stuff that goes on, but even some of the annoyances. Had a few of those today already, um, but that's not for me to talk about. Dr. Glenna Rice is in the house as well as Blossom Benedict. You, you know, before we jump ahead, ladies, and, and and talk about how to do this and why it's important, can you give me, uh, Dr. Glenna, what are some of the things um, that are, that are up and coming for you and Blossom for you? What are you? What are you? What have you created? Um, so what's up? There's many things upcoming. Um, I'm flying off to Rome again <laughs> for some access classes. Um, for I have body classes um, in where am I going? I'm going to be in Hamburg, Germany and New York and Tokyo and um, San Francisco this year doing body wow. classes. And I've got my questionable conversations um, creating with your body monthly telecall that we've spoken about in other calls and that's coming up and the next series is starting in April about listening, creating with your body, listening. Um, and Blossom and I have some very, very cool creation with <laughs> Stephanie Richardson that we did last year and we're doing again this year, which is living the foundation, um, which is the foundation class with all these other wonderful activities and classes and possibilities on her beautiful ranch in Michigan. And that's coming up in July. Um, June, June, June. Sorry. Yeah. June. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and it's this nice blossom. Good job. Day extravaganza. Yeah. In Michigan in June. Applying these tools to every area of body, money, voice, creation, horses. It, it'll be a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Um, and, and, you know, uh, Blossom, you've got something going on on Facebook, too. So tell us a little bit about that. Oh, I do. I started a show about a month ago. Uh, called Cocktails and Consciousness. And every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific, I have a Facebook Live show. And um, so you can find out more about that at cocktailsandconsciousness.com. Um, I'm sending out text reminders. It's been really fun. We've had some really great conversations. Um, so yeah, ch check that out. Yeah, I highly recommend it. It's been really entertaining, the ones I've caught. She's wonderful guests and a really fun, lively conversation about consciousness. And Glenno... Glenna was just on the other day. Uh, we put together an episode on, on difficult family situations. And so, yeah, you, you can find her there too. Oh, I love it. You know, because this is the time that we are all here getting the message out. It has to be that time. It has to be that time for us. Um, uh, you know, so many people are looking at their lives, looking at the stress level, whatever it is they're looking at, they are looking at it because they're living it. And I said it before that this is about a magical tool. Um, we are going to be explaining to folks, but but not just by logically explaining bars, but how people's lives change. So I said something before the break about deep relaxation. I would love for each of you to really talk about what the possibilities are if you can acquire that state. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> deep relaxation. You know, it's more active relaxation that the bars gives you. It's like you become be able to be like a walking, talking meditation in everything you do in your life. It's not like you're sitting, you know, in a yoga pose, meditating to be relaxed. You have your busy life with I've had my three kids running around um, and all those things that stress you out during the day have less effect on you. Um like I, I, my kids would be stressed out for tests that I would in the car before they got out to the schoolyard, I would run some of their bars points for maybe 10 minutes and they would do better on tests. Um, they would have more ease with tests. And I know they've run it on other, there's some blossom may know more about some of that, but they've been doing it in um, mm -hmm. they did a bunch with a bunch of children in India. They've wow. been running the bars there. There's um, one, there is a future study that we're looking at of having school children have their bars run to see what kind of changes they have in their day. Um, and, and what the study, one of the research studies that they, there's been two of them, they're not published yet. I can't really speak of the results. One's been um, approved for presentation mm -hmm. for an energy psychology festival co or, um, event coming up in um, May. Mm -hmm. 
on May 18th, Mm -hmm. but they're finding that with the EKGs, they're looking at the brain and there's two things that are going on at the same time for many of the people in the study. One is this one Hertz, which is a deep relaxation that you see in some of in, in meditation and at the same time, a 22 hertz, and people that know these numbers will know, may know it much right. more than I'm talking about, but that's where your brain is thinking and highly active. Um, it's one of the most active ways your brain can function before it goes into almost manic, but it's when you're creating new thoughts and new ideas. So both of these things are going on at the same time. So when we've talked about this for years in Axis, about it being a walking, talking meditation, and it's actually showing that there is something similar to that. May, or is going on at the brain while the bars are being run and after the bars. So I'm really excited about what yeah. it's showing. I mean, it's, it's research is interesting. Um, it's interesting to see what's going on. It doesn't make the bars work any better to know these things. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of fun. Well, it's kind of fun because what the, what it does is, you know, it gets to a place where, um, you know, people are, la- are able to get some relief and let's talk about that for a minute. You know, I know both of you work with folks on a regular basis. I also know you teach the bars class. Um, what is it that you've experienced as an outcome? And what I mean by that is that, you know, there are folks that show up and they, they haven't really they haven't really studied. They they don't really know. They just know that things in their lives are not working. It's just not working. And they want to figure out how can I get it to work? And so I'd love to hear some of those stories about those people that you both have had the honor and the pleasure of assisting. So I would start, Dr. Pat, with with the story of myself in a way, um, Mm -hmm. you know, I travel the world and do get to share these tools with everyone. And I think a lot of times people think that that means like Glenna and I are happy all the time, or we are always in a state of wonder and possibility. Um, what I can say is for me, it's more like, I know what that is, right? Like I've deeply experienced, um, like creating as if from magic every moment of the day and being intensely grateful and being really present and knowing the universe has my back and, and watching things unfold so effortlessly from all this work I've done over these years. And so the thing that I know that is the most true to me is that if I am not in that state, if things are hard, if I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, if I'm making it difficult, if I'm grumpy, if something's just not working, what I finally know after all those years is that's, that's just not me. Mm. So, so that's when, you know, I go to, okay, either I'm wrong and terrible and depressed and I need help. And I, and I give myself permission to be like, okay, maybe that's true. But first, why don't you just get your bars run (laughs) Uh and see, you know, and, and 95% of the time, an hour later, I see the world again through a different lens or I feel like myself. So when people ask me, you know, what do you get out of a bar session? It's so different for everyone. But to me, it's like, it gives you the opportunity to return to what's actually you, which is usually way lighter than the muck that anyone has been sitting in that day. Yeah. You know, none of us really want to sit in the muck. And sometimes we don't know in the mu- that we are sitting in the muck. But I'll tell you what we do know. We do know that the life that we really want to live is not the life we're living today. Mm-hmm. We know that. How do we know it? Well, you know, Dr. Glenna, you've talked about the many ways it shows up. And let's let's do a little recap, uh, because unless we understand that maybe this thing that has become the norm, right, you know, the norm in our lives, we don't really see it as something that can change because we've so bought into the fact that this is the way it's always going to be, Dr. Glenna. Mm-hmm. Forget it. Well, as my uncle would say, forget about it. Forget about um, it. But, but don't you run into this as well, where, you know, folks, you know, think everything is okay. Yeah, how are you? Well, fine. Fine. Mm. Right? So how do we help, you know, each other? How do you work with folks to really bring things to the surface, bring a level of consciousness so that they can truly look at, what else is possible here? 
Yeah, great question. And, you know, before I found these tools and started using them, I would say I was that. I, you know, wasn't living the life I wanted and I didn't really have a lot of ideas of what that would even be, but I knew it wasn't what I was doing. I can say now that most of the time I am actually living the life that I wanted to live or want to live or would have chosen back then. And it is showing up with me every day, which is pretty miraculous. Just Mm -hmm. you saying that I was like, wow, I think I'm actually doing it. If I went back 12 years ago, what my life was like and what it's like now, um, and I wouldn't have even imagined there was a possibility to do it. And opening up to that, what Blossom was talking about, when you have those grumpy days or stressful, to to have a way to change it with such ease, um, to just be able to get your bars run and you're depressed or sad or angry or frustrated or things aren't working. And an hour later, you're like, oh, here I am again. This is me. Mm. All the other stuff just dissipates and you're back again. And to have it such an easy way to do it. And I didn't have that available before. And one of the first, my, one of the first, my first experiences with access was having some of my bars right? not a full session, but some of my bars went run. And I walked out of a session with so much space and clarity and peace in my body. I remember walking down this hallway out of the practitioner's office, just going, what was that? Yeah. that was one of the most amazing things I've ever had. Mm-hmm. I'm here. Um, and smiling and giggling and having that all day like that, just like, wow, there is something possible. And I was right then, like, I'm doing more of this stuff. Whatever this stuff was that changed me that much in an hour, I'm doing more and I'm going to have that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Dr. Pat, when you yeah. ask about stories, um, yeah. in Access, we have this phrase, like, don't listen to buy or tell the story. <laughs> and and so I think something that happens is over time, people go, oh, yeah, that that story, that's not real. That doesn't fi- define me. That's not true anymore. And so we we don't necessarily talk about it. And I was doing a series of interviews with some of my closest friends who really are really joyful people and use these tools and also facilitate. And I started asking them about their stories and it just blew me away. Uh, I was talking to this guy, Brett, and he was like, oh yeah, yeah. I had such chemical sensitivity. I couldn't leave the house. And I was like, what do you mean you couldn't leave the house? Oh, I couldn't leave the house ever. He couldn't eat anything, couldn't leave the house. And he now travels the world on the stream team. Like that totally changed. And then another friend of mine, who's a facilitator, um, she had like really, really intense eating disorders. And she now teaches classes on, on having a healthy relationship with your body. And so, so, you know, Glenna and I sort of, it's easy for us to tap into, I think the, oh yeah, I change this when I'm having a grumpy day version of this. But right. you know, my friend Megan used to take such a cocktail of uppers and downers to deal with depression and right. anxiety. Right. Um, and she couldn't get through the day and, and now she just doesn't. So, so there are also those big things that sort of, yes. um, and sometimes we just forget to tell those stories. Yeah, we do forget them. And that's really what's so important about this show today. We're going to take a short break when we come back, Dr. Glenna Rice, um, uh, Blossom Benedict joining us here today. When we come back, here's the question I would like you to contemplate. Can you change everything in your life? Can you change everything? And if you don't think you can, you're not going to want to miss this next segment. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Are you traveling most of your day? Do you want to take Transformation Talk Radio with you anywhere you go? Well, guess what? There's an app for that. Just go to the App Store on your Apple device or the Google Play Store on your Android and search Transformation Talk Radio. Catch all of our live shows no matter where you are. Thanks for listening. 
Tune in to Dynamics of Diversity Radio, scripting the new narrative for immigration with leading experts, Kripa Upadya and Steve Tanijo on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This show will remove the noise that often accompanies discussions on this topic and share a new perspective on the dynamics of immigration and diversity, ever reminding us that together we are all at the core of innovation, excellence, and positive change. Visit OrbitLawPLLC.com for upcoming topics. What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. When your body is awakened, your spirit comes alive. Dana Canetto is a transformational guide, embodiment coach, and spiritual mentor assisting women in realigning with their truth and embodying who they are by connecting to the wisdom of their body. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio and the Dr. Pat Show Network for Body Divinity Radio with Dana Canetto. For more information on Dana and her services, visit danacanetto.com. That's D-A-N-A-C-A-N-N-E-T-O.com. Bree Gibbs is a fourth-generation high priestess with the knowledge to raise your vibration and conscious creation. Offering a wide variety of services from goddess light and shamanic healing seminars to private reading sessions, Bree works with you so you too can stand in your own power. Isn't it about time you took your life into your own hands? For more information about Bree's services and products, visit silvergaia.com. That's silvergaia.com. Hey, everybody. We're talking about a magical tool today. I'm Dr. Pat, joined by Dr. Glenna Rice, as well as our special guest, Blossom Benedict. You know, before we get back into this question of, can I really change everything in my life? Can I really do that? Um, how can people find out more about both of you? And especially, you know, how do they, how can they work with you? Um, I'm easy to find. Glennarice.com <laughs> is my website and you can get all the information to contact or email me through that and find links to all my upcoming classes. And if you just want to search search classes that I'm teaching, it's drglennarice.accessconsciousness.com. Awesome. I'm easy to blossombenedict.com um, or now cocktailsandconsciousness.com with this new show I have. And um, I'm all over Facebook as well. I We both love giving lots of free tools and inspiration. And uh, so it's, it can be fun to follow if you'd like to add some yeah. ease to your regular days. We both have Facebook pages. Mine's Dr. Glenna Rice. And is yours just is yours Blossom, Blossom Benedict? Blossom Benedict. Yeah. That's what we want to know. Um, okay. Here's the deal. Can I really change everything in my life that's not working? Can I? And if so, how do I get started? <laughs> the big question. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. So I would say I would say two things about that. Um one thing is that yes, if you actually desire to change it. And one of the trickiest things for me to first come to grips with was that I had actually created everything in my life that was. So some of those things actually seemed to serve me, you know, being a victim and I didn't have to create as much or having problems with money and I didn't have to look at what I really wanted to create in my future. So, um, I think for me, one of the very first steps was acknowledging it's not that I've created terrible things. I created what I knew how to create or what I thought I desired at the moment. And if I wanted to create something different, I was going to have to ask different questions and ask mm. for different things in my life. Nice. Nice. Let's go through a little bit of that. Can I use a real life story? Sure. Yes. Okay. It was shared with me the other day. And Glenna, I got to tell you, I, I don't know if your ears were ringing or what, <laughs> um, 
but I thought of you. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day and my friend says, I just got approved for a 20,000 loan and she needs the loan. And this is what the, I'm talking as her now, you know, she needs the loan because she's got a really super idea and needs to ramp it up. So she needs the advance money to kind of kick in to gear a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of crowdfunding, the whole thing, right? So she goes and she gets approved for a loan. So she calls me and she says, I, I just got approved for a $20,000 loan and I'm afraid of the loan. And I don't know if you ever do a double take, but you know me, Glenna, now for a bunch of years, right, Blossom, you too. And I said, you're afraid you're not going to get the loan? She said, I just got approved for a $20,000 loan. I could have it in three days, but I'm afraid of the loan. And I thought one more time, I said, you're afraid of getting the loan or, and she repeated the same thing. Now, this is one of those scenarios that I want to know if somebody like says that to either one or you two, I'm telling you, I didn't even know where to go with that. Hmm. Um, but you understand, you talk to a million people and I know people come up to you and say things like that. Yeah, I don't I did not have the magical tool. Well, I, <laughs> we're, <here. Yeah. laughs> I'm sure you had many things that contributed to her, though. Um, so it's when she goes when someone goes to fear right away, that's an indication that there's something that they're not looking at, because fear is really not a reality for us. Right. It's something we create and it's something that distracts us from something we know. So I was like, you know, what is she actually aware of uh, with this loan? Like what it's going to create? Or maybe there is something weird about it that she's not willing to look at or see. Um, and then I would ask her to look at her future. And if she, if, you know, what's her future going to be like in 10 years, if she has this loan, exactly. What's it gonna be like in 10 years, if she doesn't take out the loan. Oh, uh, and, you I know, needed what, that. Yeah. And then to start seeing what it's going to create. And then you'll have more clarity on what's going on and you can ask more questions to change things. Um, also, whatever she, the, the creation she, that this loan is going to contribute to for her, I would have her looking at that. Like, is this going to, is this loan going to be creating what she's asking for or is there something else? That's so funny because you know what I said to her? I didn't have exactly those words, but I think, Glenna, you would have been proud of me. Mm -hmm. And I said something like, well, what would happen if you didn't get the loan? Now, that's probably not the best question, but what she went to with that answer was, well, forget it. Game over. <laughs> Yeah. And often fear can be excitement. So was she actually really excited about the future she was about starting to create with this? Yeah. Life? Yeah. Totally excited about it. You know, the other side of this is that 20,000 or however much was going to open up the door for a crowdfunding initiative. If you follow all the baselines uh, on crowdfunding, you, you know, to, up to $10 million for her idea. Mm. Well, yeah, I, we're not talking it, like, oh, let me try crowdfunding on something that, you know, has no track record. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm creating something like this. But, you know, mine is actually a little bit cooler and they raised 10 million. Wow. That's a nice amount of money. Do you, right. So why is she more excited? Was that because fear and excitement can feel very, this, very similar in the body and we often misidentify them? I know. But was it an excitement she had about her future and what this was creating? Yeah. But, you know, isn't that really kind of the, the showstopper? You know, some people had said to me and, and boy, I want to I want to talk to you, Blossom, about this. Thank you. Thank you, Glenna, because that's perfect. Right. And you could see I have a few tools that I've learned, but clearly not the magical tool. Um, but bless them for you. Y you know, I'm sure that people have shown up on your doorstep with something similar. And in our general society, we want to fix people. Mm -hmm. We don't want to ask that question. We want to go to uh, some kind of either just go get the loan or, OK, you know, whatever that is, your experience, Blossom, what do people what are they willing to look at? You know, it's such a brilliant example because we do want to fix things or give advice. That's sort of how we're trained here. And the real beauty in 
the way that access facilitators are trained is we're really trained to ask questions and not have our own opinions or points of view, but really just assist the person in reading which things are heavy and light. What do they know? What do they know? And if I don't care at all, if I don't have the conclusion, you should get the loan, get over it, get out of your way, just (laughs) jump. Um, Because what Glenna was saying is, there could be something they're aware of. There, there might be something that, that is niggling at them. Yeah. There might be a by, you know, a line written in there that isn't going to work for them or that's going to create a mess. So really being present with them with like, well, what do you know? What's that going to create? Uh, what are you aware of here? Is there, is there a different bank you'd be more comfortable with? Is it about the bank or is it about something else? Is it about, um, that amount of money? Is it more, would more money or less money create more? Like just playing with different energies. And what usually happens when you just stay in question with somebody and just be with them is something eventually that you say or ask will lighten up their world. Mm. They'll sigh or they'll laugh or they'll go, Oh, I didn't think about that. And that's all we're looking for. Cause that matches what they know. It doesn't matter what I think it matters. Like, what do you know? And now they're back in the driver's seat of creating their future. Mm. Um, you know, it, this is really kind of really cool and awesome in a lot of ways because, you know, there are the many tools that I learned from um, both Gary and Dr. Dane and you, Glenna, along the way that have helped me to get to where I am today. You know, because in the face of what might look like a showstopper, let's just call it that, because people use that term, you know. I've been able to ask some very interesting questions, very interesting questions. And I may not have taken the, you know, know, gone and, and gotten, you know, the tools that both of you have. But what you're sharing with people around the world enables them to start the process. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to start the process, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. And start like being the question, asking Mm -hmm. questions is because people know, they know what's creating the craziness in their life. They might not know it cognitively and loudly in their head, but somewhere they're the ones that have the awareness of what's going to change it if they want to choose to change it. And questions open these doors to possibilities to start seeing that. And like when people get it, when you get it, when you get, oh, this is the crazy thing I'm doing that's creating this mess. Or, oh, I wasn't aware of that thing about the loan. When they get that, the lightness in their world, the giggle and the laugh and the sigh that she was talking about happens over and over and over again with people. And then you empower them. You know, they don't have to come back to a guru or the priest or mm-hmm. any, you know, they, they have the potency to change their life and they start to know that, you know, it's like mm-hmm. being you and changing the world, being you changing your life. This one wrote a great book about that, mm-hmm. um, you know, and Dane here, you mentioned him. I wouldn't yeah. Bar stories and oh, my favorite one is his, and he's told it many times, and it's in his book. But it's still one of my favorite stories about you know the coming up against a roadblock and being able to change anything. He was suicidal. He was depressed. He was yep. actually he didn't want to be on this planet anymore. And he yep. saw this little all of life comes to you with ease, joy, and glory, mm-hmm. which is the you know mantra of access, which is just like all this crap. You know, every the terrible things and the great things can come to you with ease, joy, and glory. You don't have to stop your life and be affected by everything around you. And he looked at that little ad, went and got his bars run. And what he described is he giggled for an hour while this was being done. And he didn't want to kill himself afterwards. Yeah. Like that's yeah. a huge change from an hour session. You know, and now he's creating massively and changing the whole world with these tools. Mm hmm. Well, you know, I love that. And he and I connected right away because we share that in common. But not only that, my mother committed suicide. Um, And so, you know, when you have that in your family, there's a story that you get to tell yourself about that. And you have to not only break, you know, whatever is or move from whatever is going on within you, but there is a legacy that has to be changed. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, You know, my sister went down the same path. So it's almost like, I mean, you can go in a couple different directions with this. We're Italian. So uh, my uncle used to say we had an Italian curse. I don't, I I don't believe in that. I'm still here. Um, (laughs) You know, so whatever the curse was, I must have had the magical tool, right? 
Yes. Yeah. (laughs) You avoided that one. I avoided that one. I want to talk with you about this idea that people have. This is really a controversial uh, thing right now. I am not the person that believes in not having expectations. Most of the people in the human potential field come out and say, don't have any expectations. I come out and say, don't get attached to the outcome. Uh, I don't know where we got this idea not to expect something, but there's a little twisted idea about that that causes people confusion and they don't expect anything and they don't get anything. And so they say, see, I told you, I'm not going to have the life I want, Glenna. (laughs) (laughs) But I wanted to get your, both of your point of view about this, because I don't know that I'm right. They're wrong. They're right. I'm wrong. But there's this idea that we're not supposed to ask. You know, Dr. Pat, one of the things that Gary and Dane always say is, is the truth of the Bible is ask and you shall receive. There you go. And I have found that to be so true in my life. And the more I get out of my way and the more I use these tools, everything I ask for shows up. And here's the caveat, though, is it, it doesn't ever look the way I thought it was going to look. So to me, that's the blend of what you're talking about. I expect it as in, I know it's going to happen. But when you say don't get attached to the outcome, mm-hmm. it may not happen the way I wanted to micromanage it into existence. <laughs> right. It may, it may come out of left field. It may be a little more uncomfortable, like a little wedgie at my bum in right. while it's happening, you know, but, um, but I know that if I ask, it's going to happen and I can create. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, don't you also think too, is that there is, and Glenna, you've been on the show and we have talked about this before. There is this almost sense that I don't deserve to ask, right? That I, I ha- I'm not worthy enough to ask for the, that great job or ask for the love of my life, or ask to be an access consciousness facilitator and travel (laughs) around the world, right? You know, somehow I have to have something that I've done to deserve it. Yeah, that's such a funny, funny way we function on this planet, that deserving thing. Um, And it's almost like a give and take reality instead of just being able to ask for something and receive Mm -hmm. it. It's like you have to do something good enough to be able to deserve to have something. Mm -hmm. And it's such a lie. It's so not true. The universe does not function that way. Um, When you ask for something, everything can, if you're open to the possibilities, if you're open to the doors and you, I mean, where expectations gets kind of crazy is if you expect it to look a certain way, if it shows up different, you can't see it. So Mm. you're always disappointed by those things or or it can show up so much greater and you'll never see it because you're expecting, expecting it to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. So just asking for the things that would bring you more or that you just would desire, um, more money, more greater relationships, those kind of things you aren't required to be or do anything that's going to be the deal that will Mm -hmm. allow you to have those things. It's just Mm -hmm. being you and being open to the um, universe, gifting those and the doing that's required by you to create the things you're asking for too. Cause you have to be involved in these asking, asking and you receive, you have, you have to be able to be you and receive what's what you're asking for. Also Mm -hmm. expectations can stop that. Um, so we talk a lot more about having targets in access, like a target of what you'd like your future to look like, where it's not as defined. So you're open to seeing all the different ways it can show up. And I know it's shown up for me in strange ways, things I've asked for. Um, the way money shows up is very bizarre. And I've asked for more money. Um, I was just popping in my head that I asked for my ex-husband to find, have someone in his life that would help me raise my children. Now I asked this 12 years ago <laughs> when we first separated, when uh-huh. I was doing access. And now he's actually married to a woman that's helping my daughter with her artwork. And she just got accepted into two two art schools in Ireland. And I went, wow, I would have never expected in a million years it would have shown that way that I would get the help when my daughter was actually a young young adult and that that's when it would show up. And I was like, yeah, I asked for it. And that is, and the universe manipulated everything around and I was open to receiving it. And there it is. And then it's to be grateful, like, having gratitude when those things show up is a huge part in getting more of what you're asking for. It's like being grateful for how it shows up and acknowledging that you asked for it. And there it is. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, uh, you know, listen, this has been a great show because let's talk about magic for a minute. I think the example that you gave with Dr. Dane is perfect and myself because, you know, for, for someone to really contemplate something like that and not do it is really magical, right? Some yeah. people call it miraculous. Mm -hmm. And the flip side of that is sometimes it's hard just getting up in the day and knowing that you've got to feed your children, pack them off to school. And that seems like it's impossible. And I think what I'm hearing you both say, all of it is possible and could be possibly joyful. <laughs> That's yeah. the difference, right? It's the difference between drudging and dreaming. Yes, I'd say yes. And when we add, you know, you can do it just by clearing your points of view and returning things to sender and asking questions and staying in gratitude. You can create anything. And I think part of what Glenna and I wanted to say today is there is this really shortcut thing that can help. <laughs> and it is yeah. the access bars, you know, and there are thousands of people around the world who know how to gift that to you. Um, there's a whole site about it, bars.accessconsciousness.com. And really just want to, if you're feeling like this is harder than it has to be, you may be right. Like, you know, would you like to give yourself a little, a little head start or a little advantage um, on creating that space and change for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, one more time, and I know because the time just goes so quickly here when we do shows like this, um, Please tell folks um, how they can find out more about each of you and especially how they can connect with you. Yeah. My, so like I said earlier, it's glennarice.com is my website and then nice. drglennarice.accessconsciousness.com. And if you want to find out more about the um, class Blossom and I are doing this summer, mm -hmm. it's livingthefoundation.com has all the information about how to register, find out the dates, times, um, accommodations, and everything is there on the site. So they can find out more about that class there. And Blossom, you want to give yours? Yeah. Um, BlossomBenedict.com is my website, CocktailsAndConsciousness.com, or you can find me on Facebook under Blossom Benedict. And, and just one more time, bars.accessconsciousness.com. Glenna and I don't teach a lot of bars classes, but a lot of other people do. So right. uh, that resource is just super available for you. Right. Right. And, you know, the, the idea we were talking about getting started and it's like anything, I think, especially if seeing is believing. Right. You know, it is the idea of am I willing? Am I willing to step into the world of possibilities today? You know, am I willing to do that? And I know that uh, one of the upcoming shows that, uh, Glenna, I think we we really should put on the list is a show about trust. Um, I, I, you know, I just hear you know, it's it's what I shared. Just get a loan for twenty thousand dollars. Do I trust that there's so many things so right about that? <laughs> that would be a really interesting show because trust has a whole yep. different take than a lot of people um Yep. You know, there's it's a real different way to look at trust that we speak about in access. So I and I think we should do that because, yes. yeah, um, I, I hate to say it. I'm going to be like a student here because, uh, you know, I have the side of trust. I spent eight years researching it at an academic level. Ooh. And <laughs> when I did my dissertation and that won awards, I was so depressed, Glenna, that I couldn't even look at the thing. Until wow. about four years ago, Jessica stumbled across it and said, what's this book? And I opened it up and I have to tell you, I said, who wrote this? Because, mm -hmm. see, these are moments of trust, too. Yeah. When we do things that seem impossible. We have to recognize sometimes I don't think we're alone. That's going to be a great show. I have one yeah. question for each of you. I would love to know what is your personal message? What would you like to share with people about the magical tool? Hmm. You want to go blossom? Yeah, blossom. <laughs> Oh, well, I would say <laughs> ju like, just try it. You know, again, I'm getting my bars run today. Like it's sort of one of those things. What do you have to lose to include it in your life? Um, 
Yeah. yeah. If it's light to you, if it's light, check it yeah, out. If it, that's great. Like, yeah, if it's light, if your body feels a little drawn to it, if what we've talked about feels like, like it can create something different or change something, or if you just love to try out new things, you know, go to the website, find a bars practitioner in your area. Cause they are all over the world, mm-hmm. every country. I don't know how yeah. many countries, so they're not yeah. hard to find. Um, you, you know, have fun with it. What is yeah. possible? Ask yeah. and you shall receive. What are you asking for? You haven't acknowledged. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know what I love about this show today? I want to thank you both for it because, you know, we're really inviting people to change our day and to change our lives. And that really is the takeaway. That is what's possible. Thank you to both of you. Thank you, Dr. Thank Pat. you. Wow. If you all have missed any part of this, it will play tonight, but also go to the drpatshow.com or transformationtalkradio.com and download this or sign up for iTunes, Spreaker. I'm not even sure all the places it is. And remember everyone, that magical tool you have inside of you. We'll see you next time.